Angel Wolf here again with Angel Wolf's Journey. Here is the 1.4 terrain I generated with release uh, 1.4 with MC Edit just to make things easier because that's a lot of walking to do this many blocks over 5,000 blocks across. Uh, as we can see, we have quite a few more uh, Mushroom Islands. The Snowy uh, Island has formed fully. We have a nearly complete terrain access to a Mushroom Island. We have a few other Mushroom Islands. <coughs> I have begun to capture the uh, villages in the 1.4 terrain uh, are, and it's coming along nicely all the way from uh, beta 1.7.3 to release 1.0 release 1.1 release 1.2 release 1.3, and now release 1.4. I want to show the entire terrain chain. Let's have a little look at the cave system. Lots of mine shafts. That's what all of these are. Most of them are mine shafts. Some of them are strongholds, but there's only three of those until 1.9, I think it is. So, all right, let's load up and walk to the 1.4 world uh, chunk border and give you a small tip. Alright, we're back in release 1.4.7 the last uh, version to uh, do the 1.4 terrain and we're going to take a look at Angel Wolf's journey and we're going to walk to the 1.4 world border called terrain border and we're gonna have a small chat, try and fill up some air while I'm walking there. I started in uh, beta 1.7.3 and I am documenting every uh, terrain change in Minecraft since beta 1.7.3 when I started to show something interesting about Minecraft, show the history of the terrain, and also, I want to take you on this journey with me, try and have a small income of some kind from YouTube, and uh, Patreon, if you're not subscribed to my Patreon, it's only $5 a month, you get a producer credit, you get to see the videos one day early, and you'll also uh, get to uh, help me uh, come up with ideas to build uh, when we reach release 1.12 when I finally use the uh, 2B2T hat client impact because it will make building and designing things so much easier I'll be able to find chests easier it'll just make playing the game easier all right let's let's get going we're gonna walk all the way from beta 1.7.3 excuse me to uh, release 1.4 and have a small chat if we can. So I gotta fill up some dead air and I've recorded several of these so far. So I'm trying to find stuff to talk about. It's just the world taking forever to load. This is a, a chunk border base and a center of uh, terrain base that's going to be several along our journeys. This is release 1.0 and we're heading to uh, one release 1.4. You can see some of the terrain uh, I marked in MC Edit. You can barely see it. Because, there you can see it better. But, a glass pillar on all of my uh, three 
strongholds, and those will be useful later in 1.12 when we get there. It's just loading slowly because I'm recording. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. But we're heading to release 1.1 right now. There was a small terrain change and less villages. Well, they changed the amount of villages and where they were placed that spawn. And uh, I'm a disabled individual. I record these in chunks, about two hours at a time. Uh, so I can't integrate any comments from YouTube. And I won't be integrating any comments from YouTube. I will only be using Patreon to this is release 1.1 terrain change in our chunk border base. There wasn't a whole lot of terrain change, but there were some. And because I, I'm going to be only using Patreon to include ideas is because they're paying me. YouTube barely pays for anything. The, the amount of ad revenue is pitiful. But it is what it is, and I am probably not even at 3,000 subscribers yet so that I can monetize the videos. So that's why I'll only be using Patreon to integrate ideas, because YouTube comments is nothing but a dumpster fire. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am also a bit of an introvert, too. So, just coming up with some ideas and having easy ideas would be useful to me, So, and Patreon may, would make that easy, because they're the people paying me, the subscribers to Patreon, and it would be a lot less of dumpster fire. So we're heading to release 1.2 terrain changes right now. We're coming up on the release 1.2. Uh, chunk border base. They're all identical. I placed them in MC Edit. I built this uh, chunk border uh, railroad. Uh, well, future railroad. All with MC Edit. Just to make things easier, it's my world. I will do as I please. I'm just going to go to sleep. And we're going to continue on our journey because darkness in video games and Minecraft makes for bad video. So we're heading in to release 1.2 terrain. There were some terrain changes in release 1.2, quite major. And we're heading, to, heading into release 1.3. Right now we're still in 1.2. We're heading towards the center uh, terrain uh, base. Uh, it's the terrain is all a Minecraft map wide. It was in release 1.4 that the uh, Minecraft map width was increased from 1024 to. Uh, 2048, 2048 blocks across. So there will be a, a noticeable gap in uh, terrain uh, uh, width and base placement. That's only for the chunk border and center map base. This is release 1.2 uh, center of terrain base. This is just a base of operations. Hey, you're in the center of the map. It's just a landmark. It's easy to find, easy to get to. When the railroad is built towards after release 1.12, then it'll be easy to use and find your way and get back and go to any terrain area you want. It would mostly just be me. I'm not intending to multiplayer this or any of that. I'm an introvert. I don't really like multiplayer. <coughs> so 
we're heading towards release 1.3 terrain change base. That one's in the middle of an ocean. I forget exactly where it is, but it is coming up. Now, if you're paying attention to the coordinates that I've got on screen, you can easily keep up with it. I have to release because my hand gets tired, so I stop sprinting. Here we are coming up on release 1.3 train border base. Now, we, there won't be too much changes because it was in an ocean and there weren't a whole lot of changes. <laughs> when I get to release 1.6, the terrain will uh, stop expanding. Because I made a slight mistake to integrate too many changes when I could have just gone to release 1.6 after release 1.3. Because the terrain will be mostly the same and will only be identifiable by the uh, chunk border bases. There's a lot of pumpkins over there. And when I get to release 1.4, I will stop recording for the day. And I will pick it up tomorrow. And or, or even a day or two later, and continue the journey. Right now we're heading to release 1.3 Center of Terrain Base, and after that we'll be release 1.4 Terrain. Alright, like I said, they're all identical. It was just easy to place and then see edit. They're all made out of cobblestone. They're all five levels. <coughs> It'll be a future railroad. Can you tell I'm running out of things to talk about? I need a recharge. This will, takes a lot out of me. I, I'm a disabled individual. I can only sit about two hours at a time. I'm trying to have some kind of income to make the U.S. government happy so that I can accrue tax revenue so that I can try and figure out how to get on some kind of disability because I have major health problems and I'm just not really willing to go into, but I have major health problems. This is a nice desert. This will be a lovely place. when I eventually start building things in it or, or figure out other things to do. We are coming up on the release 1.4 border base. And I have reached it and I will leave you off here and I'll pick up recording eventually for more tours. Thank you. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and you can join me on Patreon for only $5 a month where you can uh, get a producer credit, see my videos one day early, and you can also help me come up with ideas to, to build in my world when I re reach release 1.12 and beyond. Thank you.